Hey sisters, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Talia, and as you can tell by the title, I am going to try and follow one of James Charles' tutorials, and hopefully it goes well because I have things to do today, so my face has to look decent. This video is completely inspired by Thomas. I just found his channel, and I'm obsessed with it. I found him through his video where he's following Jeffree Star's tutorial. I will leave that link down below in case you guys want to go check out his channel. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, click that notification bell so you know when I post a new video. Join the Vanilla Cake fam, I would love to have you part of it. So I was looking through all of his videos last night and I thought I would do the Easy Glam Event makeup tutorial. And I picked it because it looks like I can do it. Hopefully. He started the video with his foundation and eyebrows already done, so that's exactly what I did today. If you guys would like me to do another get ready with me slash makeup tutorial with my whole eyebrow and foundation routine, again, I can do that. But for the sake of this video, that has already been done. So I'm just gonna watch what he's doing. I'm pretty sure I have like none of the products that he is using. So I'm just gonna work with what I got, but let's see what we're working with. Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this super simple but super beautiful Chloe Bronzy makeup look to a Dior event and a ton of you guys are asking for it so I decided to sit down and film a tutorial on it today. This is basically like my go-to event makeup and I decided to do a simple half cut crease with the little diamonds on the side. And just Hold on, do I have diamonds? <gasps> Honey, I do! This is gonna be lit. Oh, can we also just like talk about the elephant in the room? Um, I left tanner on overnight because I was like real pale and I needed some color and my hands are kind of really really freaking dark um so just don't look at them thank you if you guys want to see how great this look make sure you keep on watching all right hello sisters so to start off this video today I have my base and eyebrows already done y'all have seen me do them a million times this is a super quick and easy tutorial easy tutorial is it gonna be easy I hope so. I'm gonna start off the eyes today with my Morphe 25B palette. This is one of the new mini palettes. Let me see what I got that kind of matches these colors. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, she's already contoured. I haven't contoured. <sighs> Frick, I'll be back. Okay, hi, I'm back. I'm all bronzed up. Now I need to find these eyeshadows. I think I have some that are similar. Okay. Nope. That could work. No. 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 Twelve seconds later. So I'm gonna have these two palettes at hand because it's kind of the colors are pretty similar. Um, these are both from. You can get these at Hush or you can get them at I think I Kate House is what it's called. I will link them down below. If you guys are looking for cheap alternatives, these are the bomb. So first gonna go. Orange transition shade up in here with my M4 for one into the crease. Hold on. Hold on. Using... An orangey shade. Why are mine so much darker? I'm gonna go in with the ES06 35 color eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna use this baby right here. <laughs> I'm using this because this is the fluffiest eyeshadow brush I got, okay? Put this orange transition shade up in here with my M4 for one and just pop that into the crease. Okay. Easy enough. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> As if I couldn't get any more orange. Next, I'm gonna grab my M433 and dip into this ready brown shade up in here and just put that on the outer V. Um, holy crap, he got so much product on that brush. M433 and dip into this ready brown shade up in here and just put that on the outer V. I don't want this eyebrow to have too much dimension. I'm kind of keeping it really, really soft and light today. <laughs> Light, okay. Okay, I'm gonna take this one right here. I'm just putting this really, really, really to the outer crease. I don't want this eyelid to have too much dimension. I'm kind of keeping it really, really soft and light today. I'm going real natural today, guys. Outer crease. <laughs> this is not light, sister. Next time I go back into that M433 and I'm gonna dip into this dark brown shade. 
Oh, shit. Just deep enough to hold the corner of the sleeve. We're going darker, okay. Um, I don't know why it's kind of showing up more red, but this is brown, so I'm gonna go on with that one. For the lipstick, I'm gonna grab my M170 Dastier brush and dip it to the shade right here and sort of cut the crease. I'm just using the brush and the shadow to cut out the inner corner. Okay, so he's using like a glittery color. I feel like this one's a lot brighter, but I'm gonna go in with this color right here. And do exactly what he says. Why did it work so much better on this side of my eye? How do you feel? I don't know. Do you like it? For a little bit more dimension, I'm gonna layer over top of that shadow with the new ColourPop single shadow in the shade Liar Liar. Okay, well, I don't have that. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a wig liner, and for this, I'm gonna use my absolute fave, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade of Trooper. Okay, well, I'm gonna be going in with my Maybelline Master Precise. One of my other favorite eyeliners is the Milani one. I'm not sure what it's called, but I'll put it right here. This has been my go-to since like eighth grade though, so I guess we're just winning our eyeliner. I can do that. This is almost out. It's making this really hard. Eyeliner is done. Okay. Same brush, I guess. We're going in with that orange. All right. I usually do this before I apply my eyeliner, so this is weird. I'm taking the M562. I'm going to take the dark brown shade from the and just kind of the outer corner up to the wing. Ooh, it's dark. Okay, I'm gonna take this little guy. This is the Pencil E30 brush by Sigma. And I'm just gonna take that same brown that we used before and do exactly what he says. I don't wanna apply too much because this is a dark color. I just went ahead and applied my upper waterline using my next jump eye pencil in the shade of black bean. That's literally my least favorite step of my entire makeup routine. It always goes wrong, and I can never do it on camera, so... I'm not gonna do, do that. that. I don't, like, outline my waterline or anything like that, so I'm just gonna skip that step. For my lower lash, I'm gonna take my tweezers and pick up one of these little pencils and a little bit of black glue and just pop it on. This is obviously 100% unnecessary, but it's super duper cute, and this look is very, very simple, so I just wanted to pull a little, a little bit more attention to the <laughs> Okay, crystals, tweezers, glue. What size is this? It's like medium. These are actually already sticky. I could probably just pop one on. Is that? That seems really close to my eye. Okay. Why can't I do this with tweezers? Isn't it supposed to make it easier? Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, no, I'm just dropping them. I'm just gonna put it on with my fingers. Yo, I think I actually have those. <laughs> I do. Okay, wait. So you put on the eyelashes before curling them? Never done it that way before. I'm taking the Falsies Push Up Angel by Maybelline. It's my favorite. And I guess we're doing this without curling our eyelashes first. I like these lashes, but I don't because they're just super extra. And I'm about that extra life, but not today. I I'm not feeling extra today. But Sister James said, so I gotta follow through. Okay, lashes are on. We're gonna move on and we're gonna get the glow on. For highlighter today, I'm gonna be using my current fave, the Ofra Blissful Highlighter. You can use code James for 30% off. Gonna... Code James. Okay, I'm gonna use an Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm going to use the shade Kitty Cat and get a glow on, like James said. I'm gonna apply this to my brow bone first. Using a pencil brush, I'm gonna pop the same highlighter in the inner corner. I'm then gonna use that same brush to snatch my nose. Oh yes, come on, pinch nose. Love not being able to breathe. For lips today, I'm gonna to mix these two shades together for Morphe and the shades Virgin and Suspect. I don't really know what lip color to put on. I need one that looks similar to him. Maybe Riot by Lime Crime? That's the one. No, it's not. It's a little, a lot off. His looks more red, but I'm just gonna go with Riot by Lime Crime. All right, lipstick's done. Completed look for today. Like I said, super easy glam that I've been wearing to a ton of parties recently. I decided to pop on these shams because they're cute. 
Q&A. Hold on. No setting spray? James is not using setting spray? I did not do all this for nothing. I'm a little upset. There wasn't any blush in this video. I love blush. I feel like blush is so underrated. I guess that's the completed look. What do you guys think? Here's what the eyes look like. What do you guys think? Honestly, it's not that bad. I probably wouldn't pick these lashes, but they honestly didn't turn out that bad with the look. I like long lashes and I like lashes that flare out like these, but I like them a little more natural looking in a way. I don't know. These are just like really full and voluminous. I like the lashes a lot. They were my first pair of House of Lashes actually, so I am a fan of them. Anyways, thanks Sister James for making me look poppin' today. Rate this look in the comments down below. I would love to know what you think of it and let me know how well you think I did. Hopefully not too shabby. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!